So hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to keep your Facebook account safe from hackers. So a brief overview, we're going to have a summary of what Facebook is, the dangers, some solutions, and a video to guide you. What is Facebook? Facebook is a social media platform that allows users to connect with others online. Users can create free profiles to share content such as photos, videos, and status updates, and join conversations with others who share similar interests. Hacking. Facebook has many dangers, just like any other app has. But one of the biggest concerns that is going on right now is accounts getting hacked. Suspicious links. People get hacked by clicking on suspicious links. For example, someone might send you a message saying, hey, check out this photo or video. And when you click on it, it can either steal your information right away or it can ask for your login information. And that is how they hack you. Friend messages. Another common way to get hacked is by receiving a message from one of your Facebook friends that you totally trust and have no idea they have been hacked. They can send you messages like, hey, I need to borrow your login information to save my account, or something similar to that. Scams. Something you should also watch out for are scams. This can happen the same way as they try to hack you. Let's say your friend got hacked and now they send you a message saying, hey, I need to borrow money and hackers really try to make it believable by learning everything about you. You should always double check these type of messages. How to prevent hacking. Locking your profile. One of the new updates of Facebook is that you can now lock your profile. What this means is that you will make everything private, so anyone who is not your friend will not be able to see your posts and media. How to lock your profile. You first have to click on menu, then you click on settings and privacy, scroll down and choose settings. And then when you scroll down, you have to go on profile locking and click on it. Be aware. Part of this process is to be aware of everything that is going on. Be smart about your choices and think twice before clicking on any link. It is important to verify if you're actually speaking with the person you think you are. You can do this by asking them through their phone number or maybe in person. Just be aware and be careful. Changing your password. You have to go on menu, then on settings. And when you go on settings and privacy, you have to go on password and security and then change your password. Logging out from other devices. The first step is to go on menu, then go on settings, and then settings and privacy. You go on the account center, then password and security, and it shows you where you're logged in. Then click on your name. You will see the list of all devices where you're logged in, and then click on select devices to log out. Two-factor authentication. The first step is to go on the menu, then settings, then settings and privacy, the account center, password and security, and then the two-factor authentication. Then it will ask for your password and you will receive a code in your mail to confirm your account. After that, you will now be taken to the options bar. Choose the option that you think is best for you. The purpose of this is to make your account more secure and protected. Then click next and follow the steps.